Hello all, welcome to the SMS controlled pen test bot hacker project. Now in the previous video, we've already looked at how to install Raspbian uh, and you know all the basic utilities. Now in this video, before we move forward and go ahead and work with the hologram.io SIM card as well as their Nova device, what we will focus on is activating the SIM card, right? This will ensure that the SIM card will now be accepted uh, by mobile networks around so that we can use the SMS facility. So let's jump right in. Okay, so once you've procured the SIM card, as you can see here it is, on the back side of the SIM card, what you'll actually find is that there is a registration code. Now, what you need to do is go to hologram.io, register for an account, and then go to your dashboard. Now, I already have an existing device, and hence the device shows up, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and register this brand new hologram SIM card. So as I said, behind you have the barcode along with uh, you know the actual registration number, which is what we will use. So step one is to click on activate SIM. Now this basically tells you that you need to put in the SIM barcode in here. So let me do that. Now, once you added this, uh, the most important thing which you need to look at is this detail down below, which is either you can register for a developer SIM or pay as you go or monthly. Now, I already have one existing SIM which has been put into developer mode and hence it isn't allowing me to use the next SIM in developer mode as well, which is fair as you can well imagine for the company. So I'm gonna use pay as you go, but you would need to select developer if this is going to be your first SIM card and as I see, you're going to use it for the simple project. So pay as you go is what I'm choosing. Uh, if I scroll down, if you notice coverage area wise, I have two choices, zone one or zone two, which is you know, this part of the world. I'm gonna be choosing zone one for North America. And this also goes ahead and gives me details of the plan cost. And if you notice the data cost is 60 cents per megabyte. Uh, the base cost is 40 cents per month and 19 cents per message. Fair enough, I mean, this is, this is good to go for you know, my little uh, projects. So I'm going to go up here and rather go down here and click on activate. So once I've done that, it'll say your device has been added. It might take a few minutes before it is connected to the cellular network. Here is my new device, the unnamed device. I'm going to go in. The first thing, of course, is I'm going to give the device a name. I'm just going to call this Hacker Project Demo. I probably should have hit an enter. <laughs> Let me do that once again. Hacker Project Demo. There you go. The device has been named. Now the status currently, as you can see, it says is activating. They actually activate the device pretty fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video here for a couple of minutes while the SIM is actually getting activated. 
Okay, and as you can see in literally under, you know, two to three minutes, the status is live. Now this is fantastic because this is how fast you got your SIM activated. And let me briefly pause here so that you can really appreciate this. In comparison, if we had to deal with any of these service providers, we'd have to go through crazy hoops and loops and figure out contracts and whatnot, while Hologram allows us to just immediately register and get on the network. Fantastic. Now, once you've done this, you do have a couple of other options as well. You can click on configuration. Uh, now, typically, you can go ahead and, of course, communicate with this device using their APIs. Uh, but if you want to send an SMS directly to this device using, you know, just the mobile network, uh, you would have to go ahead and configure a phone number for this device. Now, if you wanted to purchase a phone number, it is actually pretty cheap just a dollar a month if I recall and you can even enter an area code over here so a dollar a month seems pretty reasonable you know given that you are trying to create an interesting hacker project uh, for my other project I have gone ahead and purchased a number and you can clearly see that the number is displayed here so uh, I would recommend getting a number at least to follow along with this video and just so that you can get a feel for how easy it is to actually work with the device. Uh, but of course, I leave the choice to you. Now, for the rest of uh, the set of videos, I'm actually going to use the device I've already activated so that I have my phone number assigned to it and don't have to buy another phone number, right? I hope you guys excuse me for that. Uh, I know it's just a dollar a month, but I don't want to kind of maintain two different uh, phone numbers when I only have use for one right now. So I'm gonna go with the old device. There is no difference. Really, when you guys register for the first time, this is what you would get with the developer account, uh, which gives you one MB per month free uh, for use while, of course, you're developing the apps. Now, this is one part. The, the second part is really having your Raspberry Pi understand how to interact with your Nova device so that you can send your SMSs and all of that. Now, to do that, head over to GitHub and in that, go to hologram.io's account. It's basically github.com hologram-io. And in that, there is a project called hologram-python. Go in there. And then if you scroll down, you'll actually see that to install this, this is the command to run. Let me actually make the screen a little bit bigger. Uh, it's always a good idea to verify what is actually going to be installed because this is really a set of bash commands. And if you go through it, you might find PPP and making sure that pip is installed. And then finally, they install hologram Python, right? Anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this out. I'm going to go. Okay, so let's install hologram.io's SDK. I'm just going to do a pseudo bash so that I can pretty much run everything as root. And just type in and run that command and you'd automatically see that uh, the script is fetched and after it is fetched, it will be executed by bash which will proceed to install all dependencies um, and every other little thing which is kind of required. The key thing to note is that, you know, all the packages and everything which we need right now uh, are actually installed just out of the box without any problems. Uh, there is nothing extra to be done on the Raspbian, right? No dependency hell or anything else to be resolved. Uh, so let's actually wait for the installation so that we can make sure everything is installed properly. It's really amazing how the Raspberry Pi 
has kind of changed the way uh, you know we go ahead and work and build devices it's fantastic to have a device which is just you know 35 to 40 dollars available to you so that you can use it for your embedded projects and even dedicate uh, the device entirely to something you've built so if you think about it you know the raspberry pi along with a micro sd card dedicated to it probably is under $50 uh, is all you would have to invest to maintain this project long term. You know, uh, of course, taking a backup of the micro SD card wouldn't hurt. But apart from that, that's it. And truth be told, I mean, you know, unless uh, for some reason you wanted to dedicate the Pi, well, the real backup you would only have to keep with yourself is the micro SD card. Uh, because the Pi itself can you know, run other firmware which you may create with other projects. Okay. So I'm going to briefly pause the video to make sure the installation is complete. So there we go. This has completed the installation of the hologram Python SDK. Uh, the tool we will use, which comes with the SDK, is simple script called hologram and this will allow us to go ahead and play with the nova device and this is what we're going to look at in the next video so that's all i had in mind for this one thank you